Bible says, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. What does it say? Faith comes from hearing and the hearing of the word of Christ. Now, that's King James, but the NIV says the word of Christ. The word of Christ. Of course, pretend, you know, that's by grace too. Right? When God allows His grace, you get to understand the word, the meaning of the word, the theme of the word, the focus of the word, center of the word, okay, which is Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. And third application, only by the Holy Spirit is this possible to gain. Second Corinthians, no, first Corinthians chapter 2, 9 and 10. I mean the whole chapter, whole chapter, chapter 2. Okay? But but as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear have heard, nor have it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. This kingdom of God e is revealed, and that mystery, because it is hidden, because it is spiritual, the only way for us to grab hold of that tangibly spiritually is by the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. But if you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in you. And continuously seek for the Holy Spirit to work powerfully in you. Amen? Yeah. So, Follow the work of the Holy Spirit, Philippians 2, 13. Another application. Now, through true modeling. <coughs> In other words, you will see, you will see who are, who, those people, those leaders, those martyrs who live according to the principles of the kingdom of God. You will see. Why? Because when the Holy Spirit reveals, you will see, you will see those models. You will see the people of faith. I know that. I know that. They're not going to teach you, but you will see the faith in them. Not necessarily you will get that through their teachings only, but then no, you will see that. You will see that. That's why I see Pastor Lloyd. He has it. I see it. I see it. Okay? It's not just up here knowledge. No. It's there. Okay? What are you going to do? He has it, so get it from him. Yes. Okay? That's what it means. Imitate. Yes. Imitate. Okay? Okay? Another application. Now, so, all those are unbelieving in other words, the principles of the, the, the earth, the flesh system that we have built, God's going to crush them. He cannot build new principles on top of the earthly incorrect principles that still, I mean, there and then, uh, you know, you cannot use two principles together. No, no, no. That's why God's going to destroy, demolish the earthly principles. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. He's going to build a new house in order for him to build a new house, new principles of the kingdom of God that is already in you. Yes, the kingdom of God is already in you, but then uh, many of us are not used with the principles of the kingdom of God. We are so used with the other principle. That's why God's going to destroy the other principle, the physical, flesh, earthly, humanistic, unbelieving principles so that he can build new principles. Amen? Amen? Yeah. So be ready. He's going to destroy you. Okay? Be ready. Physically, you might be happy. Oh, you know, I have these physical principles. Not knowing, but then... And when God tries to destroy you, then it's going to hurt you. Matthew chapter 5, verse 4, isn't it? Uh, five, uh, verse 5 or 4, that... Blessed are those who mourn. They will receive comfort. Then, only by understanding the core 
mystery of faith, which is union with Christ, which I will speak on Wednesday night. That's going to be power. Power. Why? Because perfect union with Christ is going to become real to you because it is real. But then did it become real to us? But when that becomes real to you, realistically, when you see that with faith, then you will see how perfect you are, you are complete, you are, and you are wholly, perfectly righteous with Jesus Christ. The only reason that uh, we get to sin more and more is because that is not true to us in faith. That's why, oh yeah, I understand Emmanuel, I understand God is with me, but then that's not yours yet. That's why often we fall into that deception. But when you, uh, when you understand, wow, I am perfectly holy, perfectly righteous, perfectly complete in Christ Jesus. You don't want to sin. Why should you sin? Why should you sin? Okay? So, faith is your spiritual eyeglasses. But many of those spiritual eyeglasses are so dirty. And that's why God wants to clean the lenses. Yeah. He's going to clean the lenses. By the work of the Holy Spirit and by the teaching of the Word of God, Word of Christ, as Pastor Lord has been continuously pounding upon you on only Christ, only grace. Right? That's going to clean more of that filthiness of your spiritual eyeglasses. Finally, so what do you have? What is perfect? Perfect vision, well, com uh, close to the perfect is 2020, right? No, that's not for us anymore. Put on the eyeglasses of spiritual vision, which is 5020. Amen? <laughs> what do you mean 5020? Finally, turn your Bible. I don't have that on screen, but then turn your Bible to Genesis. Uh, do I have it? Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. Okay. But as for you, you meant evil against me. No, Joseph is speaking to his brothers. Okay? Final chapter. Final, uh, you know, uh, the, before the curtain, you know, closes. Now, Joseph, now the second command in, the, uh, the, uh, in Egypt. Now his uh, siblings, physical brothers are brought and they are shaking because they found out that they tried to kill Joseph, his, their own brother, but then now is second top in the country. But Joseph, this is what Joseph says. He puts on, uh, he always has his spiritual vision of 50-20, right? And then he says this, but as for you, you meant evil against me. According to this flesh, that's what it is. But God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people, many people alive. What's your vision? 2020? No, that's physical vision. 50-20. Amen? Genesis 50, verse 20. Now, let's put on spiritual eyeglasses of 50-20 vision. That's faith. That's faith. <coughs> Understanding these two realities. Let's pray. Oh Lord, you're so wonderful. Jesus, you are real. Jesus, you are the king of the kingdom. And me, in us together. Lord, may we see that realities of the kingdom of God by your grace, through faith. Thank you, Lord. Help us. Thank you. Thank you that you have called us into the kingdom. Yes, not only are we the members of the kingdom of God, but Lord, thank you that you have elected and selected and called us as your spies of the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name.
wonderful and wonderful name I pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wasn't that a wonderful word? Praise God. So often we have problems and we have limitations because we're down here. We walk by sight and not by faith. But the kingdom spies of God. Walk by faith and not by sight. What is 50 20? <laughs> Pastor Sean always has these very interesting phrases. Can you say this with me? Lord, Lord. Your, kingdom come, your kingdom come, your will be done, will be done. On, earth, on earth as it is in heaven. You believe that? Amen. You want that? You want his kingdom be manifested here and demonstrated on this earth because there's so many others in this world that still need to experience what we have experienced and are you happy Amen. hallelujah you're going to be even more happy Amen. praise the lord there's going to be a greater increase please uh don't forget to come on wednesday so you can really hear the conclusion of this message let's all stand in the presence of the lord this morning Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you that we've been learning only so much about the only Christ conclusion. We know the answer is only Christ. But that which makes the only Christ conclusion to become a reality in our lives is when we understand only grace. Because grace makes us really come to experience only Christ. And we thank you, Lord, that you are the master of the kingdom, the kingdom of God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that as we focus upon you through your grace, you will cause us to have faith. And Father, no matter what takes place, we will stand in the midst of our problems, our trials, in the midst of any type of affliction that we go through. We praise you and as we begin to do that, power will be manifested. The kingdom of God will be manifested and demonstrated. We will experience victory. And because of that victory, we can impart victory unto others as well. We just praise you, Father, for this morning's wonderful message. We thank you that, God, you help us to be reminded that we're kingdom spies for you, walking not by sight, but by faith in Christ Jesus. We give you praise in Jesus' name. And everyone said a grace-filled amen. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor, tell them you're, you're kingdom spies.